Welcome to this demonstration designed for small and medium-sized businesses as well as sole traders. Too much time doing manual data entry. Auto entry has been found to help businesses speed up the time it takes to process documents. It solves a problem that many, many businesses have. There are several ways in which you can upload data into auto entry. You can either download the mobile phone app onto your smart device, that's mobiles and tablets. You can take a photograph of the document and upload it straight into auto entry, easy. You can also email documents straight into auto entry. It doesn't even matter if that email has got multiple attachments or if the information is within the body of the email. Auto entry can deal with that no problem. You can also scan documents into auto entry and you can even scan in multiple documents through your scanner at the same time and auto entry will easily just separate them out into their own transaction. Once the data is within auto entry, you can really quickly publish it through to the accounting software. And I'll show you later how to do that during the demonstration. But there's also an auto publish option, which is where you can send information into auto entry. And if you set it to auto publish, you will never need to go into the auto entry software to publish that on an individual basis. It's as quick as that. So the first thing to mention about auto entry is that it's a cloud-based solution. So anywhere you've got access to the internet, you just log on to autoentry.com and log yourself in. So when you log into auto entry for the first time, your system's going to look like that. You'll see your name up in the top right hand corner. And if it's not already been added during the startup process, you can add in your company really quickly here. So I'm just going to jump over to a demonstration account now. So don't let this frighten you. This is an example of where a bookkeeping or accountancy company would have an account and they've got lots of different clients in here. However, you would just have one. And just to let you know, if you have various other companies, you can add in as many of your companies as you like. Now, when you add your company in for the first time, as default, it will say not integrated here. Now to integrate with your accounting software, you just need to click on the cog Click on integrations. Here are all the different packages that we integrate with. Click connect, pop in your login details, and that then brings through the chart of accounts from the accounting software into auto entry. So in essence, that helps auto entry code everything up nice and quickly for you. If you're using a desktop solution, there is just one simple step that you need to take. If you have any issues, you can easily message our technical team and they'll be able to help you. Now, this is your main dashboard. Now, we're going to focus now on purchases. So all of your purchase documents, bills, receipts, all of those sorts of things, you want to get them into auto entry quickly. So there's a few ways in which you can do that. So here, via company settings, you will see that auto entry has generated you four separate email addresses. So we're going to send these to the purchases one. So you can send multiple documents, multiple attachments into auto entry as part of the same email, or if the information is just within the body of the email, auto entry can read that too. The other way to get data into auto entry is document fetching. So here under other integrations, this is where you can link with your supplier account now, Amazon's a great example, or Screwfix. You're making lots of small purchases. It takes time to get those documents into the accounting software. So what you can do is ask Auto Entry to fetch those out on a regular basis. So what you can do is you can link with your supplier accounts. Now, Amazon's a great example for this. Lots of small transactions. You're spending lots of time getting that data. So Auto Entry can fetch that data out for you on a regular basis. Another way to get the data in is the mobile phone app. Now this is every business owner's best friend. You can do this anywhere and everywhere. So you can snap a quick photograph of your document and upload it straight into auto entry. The other way to get data in, if you're in the office, you can scan data in. So you can get various documents, scan them all in at the same time. So as part of one long scan, you're not having to separate them out. You can also upload the documents from your machine or you can drag and drop them across. 
Now at this stage, you do have an option to do what's called line item capturing. So this is where you would have one invoice where there's lots of different lines on there going to different nominals. So you can ask auto entry to split those out for you. But if you're doing one large upload, that might not be relevant for everything. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how you can do it as per each supplier. Now, if it's relevant for your accounting software, you can set any tracking here. Now, once you've asked auto entry to upload these documents, you'll see a little green circle with a white tick. So that tells you that auto entry is doing its job. It's taking the document, it's extracting that data from it, it's analyzing it and verifying it. And then you'll see that the items will start to drop into the inbox. Now, just to let you know, it can take up to four hours for the data to reach auto entry, but most will be in within half an hour. So it is fast, but it's not always instant. Sometimes it can be, but just give it a little bit of time. So here at the inbox stage, you'll see that auto entry has been able to read all of this information here. Where these boxes may appear blank, that would be because you've uploaded something for a supplier that auto entry has not seen before. It won't guess the information. It will only code if it's certain. So all you need to do, click on the down arrow. There's a chart of accounts for you to pick the different suppliers, categories, VAT codes. And then if you see here, it says, remember, yes, ask auto entry to remember this information and you'll never need to fill those boxes in again. It memorizes it for you. Just also to make you aware, auto entry does pick up on VAT summaries. So you can post as you go along by clicking on the tick here, but we're going to have a look at one of these in a bit more detail. So we click on the blue eye, we go through to a split screen. So here you can see that the document is on the right hand side. You can zoom in, drag around, have a look at the information in a bit more detail. Here on the left hand side, you will see that auto entry has extracted as much of that information as possible and filled out the relevant fields. You can override the description. You can pop in your own reference, if you use purchase orders within your accounting software, so this is only relevant for those that use Sage 50, Zero, and QuickBooks, you can pull those purchase orders through and match it. Here you can see all the monetary values have been entered. If ever it's a different currency, really clever, auto entry will recognize that from the invoice, take the date as well, and give you the exact exchange rate from xe.com. And then down here, there is markers paid. So this means that if you know that this item has been paid for and you're running bank feeds into your accounting software, auto entry will automatically reconcile that for you. And then down here, this is an example of where we've asked auto entry to capture the line items. So as you can see, auto entry has taken the description word for word, all of the monetary values word for word. This is where you can then categorize to the different areas, or different tax codes. Now, of course, you can go ahead and publish and work on the next one. However, if we just go up the screen, this blue truck symbol here, this takes us through to our advanced supplier settings. So what we're going to say to auto entry is everything that comes in for this supplier going forward, I always want to capture those line items. So that's where we're splitting to different nominals and things like that. Okay, so if you click that to on, regardless of how you send it in, via the mobile phone app, via a scan, via an email, it will always do that for you. You can set defaults here. Down here is an auto publish option. So once you've come in and you've just done some very high level coding, categories and things like that, if you put this to on, what this means is that you will never see anything within auto entry for this supplier again. So you can send it in, auto entry will work its magic, and then it will just send it straight through to the accounting software for you. Give it a couple of goes. Make sure it's doing exactly what you want it to. Pop it to on, and then you've saved yourself huge amounts of time. Now here on this rules tab, now this is a really cool feature for if you are using that line item extraction. So let's just say you work in construction. You're buying lots of bricks. Bricks come in lots of different types. So you can say to auto entry, anything that comes in, where the line item contains the word brick within the description, you always want to ensure that it is being categorized to a certain area, a particular tax code, et cetera, et cetera. And you can add in another one for say timber, another one for pipes, another one for screws. So you can really go to town on that detail. Now, if we just close that tab and we'll just go over to our 
inbox. This is where you can then start bulk publishing through to your accounting software. So here at the inbox stage, you can either pick a couple or you can pick them all. Actions and publish. That then sends everything through to the accounting software and it will be deleted from the inbox. What will then happen is the items will go through to the archive and that is where they will live for a minimum of seven years. You can search for these documents at any time. So just to make you aware of this rejected section. So this is brilliant on picking up on things like duplicates or bad quality documents. It will also pick up on documents where it's handwritten and auto entry can't quite work out what it said. It's just a bit too much of a scribble. So what you can do is you can send it back to the inbox, fill in the gaps and publish as normal. On next to supplier statements. So if you're spending any amount of time manually matching your invoices with the statements, this is a game changer. So what you would do, upload the statement into auto entry as I just showed you earlier. Here at the inbox stage, you will see that this item is unreconciled, okay? But the reality is that if all of your invoices have come through auto entry at some point, it will just be automatically reconciled. It's as good as that. But if we click on the blue eye for this unreconciled one, we go to the reconciliation tab and here you will see everything that's on the supplier statement and here is everything that's potentially within auto entry. So as you can see, it's managed to match a few. If it's not been able to find one, you can click on find match, dig a little bit deeper into the system by changing the settings there. You can ignore it if you know that the item's coming through any day, so it just puts it on hold. And you can also create a dummy version if you need to, just in case an item manages to bypass auto entry for some reason, helps complete off that reconciliation, okay? Once it is reconciled, it will show up in green here to say reconciled. So you just tick the box and send it to your archive. So brilliant for year end or if you know that the auditors are coming. So this is the expenses tool. So this is brilliant for those colleagues that are on the go, that are quite happy just to use their mobile phone for this. They can all have their own auto entry account, no problem. So you upload the documents as you go along. So receipts, bills, whatever it might be. You will see that each person will have their own inbox and they can go in and make any amendments if they want to. You can add mileage in manually and you can split items as well if you need to, to different cost centers. Here at the report stage, that person then can come in, check over the expenses and then send it off. Okay, so they would submit it. And then the line manager would get an email to say that this person has submitted their expenses and it will give them a link straight through to auto entry, the review section, which is where they can take a look at the expenses, accept them, they could reject them, and you can even print them off if you want a physical signature on there. At the point of approval, the submitter would receive an email to say that they have been approved and the expenses would then do a full circle and then they'll appear in the purchases inbox named as that person's expenses, which you can then send through to the accounting software if you want to. So from a support point of view, there's our help center. You can just type something in the search box there and it will bring up your query. You can also talk to our team of humans rather than bots in our technical team. They'll get back to you really quickly. So it doesn't matter if you're working really early or really late, there's somebody there to help you all the time. Once you are signed up for a subscription, you will be offered a training session that will be remote and at a time that's convenient for you. So here under all activity, exactly what it says on the tin, it will show you exactly what's coming in, what's going out, what's pending, where things have gone. And then here under all people, this is where you can add in as many users as you like. To add them, you just pop in an email address. That will then send them an email to say that you have invited them to that account. They'll get the option to set up their own username and password and it'll also instruct them on how to use the mobile phone app. Here in the settings, you'll be able to see that you can set that person's relationship status. So for example, they might be a colleague or they might be your external accountant. They can also have access to this. And then down here, you can see all the different settings that you can have a play around with. We would love to show you how auto entry can help your business. Go on to autoentry.com. You can just click to set yourself up with a free trial.